Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over this very simple yet um, elegant kind of fairy, witchy, gypsy look, woodland nymph, if you want to go that far. If you couldn't tell, green is my absolute favorite color next to purple and chartreuse, but, you know, it is my name, Viridian Belmont, after all, so I do have to represent the color in as much dignity as possible, you know? Eyeshadow and eyebrow look today is done with the BH Cosmetics Day to Night palette, which is, again, one of my all-time favorite palettes. I've been using it in a lot of tutorials lately, um, just because it's so awesome, and you should definitely pick it up because you can definitely get looks this extreme with BH Cosmetics products. Really the most expensive thing on my face right now is my foundation, and even since it is Kat Von D, it's not too um, extreme, and for the price and what you get out of it, it's definitely worth the splurge for it. So I would definitely recommend picking one of Kat Von D's foundations up, but I'll go over that later in the video so you can see. Anyways, if you want to see how I got this look, go ahead and stick around to the end of the video and I will see you there! So with my eyebrows already partially blocked out and my contacts already in, I'm going to move on to my primer. And today I'm going to use my Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Face Primer. Next, to hide any um, stubble hair marks that I might have on my face, I'm going to use my NYX Dark Circle Concealer in shade 3. Next, I'm going to apply my NYX BB Cream in shade 01. And then we're going to move on to the eyes. So as always, my first step with applying eyeshadow is my primer, and today I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. Then using the BH Cosmetics Day to Night palette, I'm going to use one of the lighter taupe shades from the day side of the palette, um, just on the outer corner and on the crease to make a good transitional color. Then I'm going to coat my eyelid with my Ben Knight Clown White Cream Makeup to help the green shade stand out a little bit more. I'm then going to set that with a BH Cosmetics White Shadow. Pulling from the night side of the palette, I'm going to take the deepest green shade and apply that to the inner and outer corner as well as a little bit of the middle crease of the eye. Then pulling the second to lightest green shade from the day side of the palette, I'm going to apply that to the inner portion of the eyelid. Taking a small pencil brush with the same dark green shadow from the night side of the palette, I'm going to line my lower lash line. Taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Eyeliner in Trooper, I'm going to create a very dramatic eyeliner wing. I'm then going to fill the shape that I just created using my NYX Matte Finish Liquid Eyeliner. Then with the same Kat Von D liner, I'm going to extend the inner corner of my eye to create a more dramatic, um, fleshed out look. Now you see, this is what happens when you don't plan accordingly and you open your eye just a smidgen too early um, before your liquid eyeliner is dry, but have no fear, I planned accordingly for this. I'm then going to blend in the black shade from the night side of the palette on my upper crease area, which will help conceal that little uh, screw up that I made. So we'll pretend like nothing ever happened, okay? Then with a small pencil brush, go over the green color on your lower lash line to further define your eye. And now that eyes are finally done, we can finally move on to the rest of the foundation procedure. 
So as always, I'm going to apply my favorite drag foundation, which is my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in shade 42. And I'm just going to buff that in using a beauty blender. For concealer, I'll go ahead and go in with my NYX HD Concealer in shade Porcelain. For contour, I'm going to go in with the deepest shade from the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow Palette. For just a light pop of blush, I'm going to use this matte blush from Makeup Revolution in shade Nude. And for highlight, I'm going to use my absolute new favorite highlighter, which is also from Makeup Revolution called Vivid. Their baked highlighter, I believe. This is a dupe for um, either Pearl or Moonstone by Becca. So um, yeah, if you want to save a bunch of money and still look highlighted on fleek, then this is the perfect product for you. For lips today, I'm going to use three products. The first is going to be the NYX Slide On Glide On um, Lip Liner in shade Nude Suede. And I'm also going to use the matte lipsticks from NYX in shade Maison and Butter. Next, I'm going to put on my lashes, my wig, and my costume, and I will see you at the end of the video. And here is the finished look. I went ahead and threw on two of my green wigs that, you know, really pronounce the whole Viridian Belmont um, heritage. Um, this is a nice little flower crown that I probably showed off in a haul video um, a couple weeks ago, and just like a standard kind of skull crossbones flowery kind of top because I was going to make like a nice pretty little um, kind of leafy bra but I really just didn't have the time to do that. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also don't forget that all the links to my social media accounts are in the description down below so don't forget to follow me on that. Also don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so I can become a much more YouTube famous than I probably never will. Also, don't forget to be nice to every employee that works wherever you end up going today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!